Yo, hey everybody. In this video, I gotta explain if statements in C. If I could summarize if statements in one or two sentences, I would explain them as the following. With if statements, you do some code if a condition is true. If the condition is false, you don't do it. In programming, it allows for basic decision making. Let me give you an example. Let's say we have an integer variable of age. Set it equal to some age. What I would like to do for this program is print something if age is 18 or greater. Well, we can use an if statement. If, parentheses, curly braces. Within the set of parentheses, we check a condition. Really, you can type in whatever you would like. What do you want to check? If our variable age is greater than or equal to 18. If this is true, then we can print the following. You are an adult. Let's test it. Age is 21. We end up printing, you are an adult. Now, what if this condition was not true? What if it was false? Let's say age is 12. Well, then we don't do the code. We skip over it entirely, as if it never existed. Only do this code if this condition is true. Otherwise, you can do something else by adding an else clause. So if our age is less than 18, we can print the following. You are a child. Age is set to 12. We end up printing, you are a child. So with an if and else if statement, if this is true, do this. Else, do something else. It's basic decision making and programming. Now if there's any other conditions you want to check, we can check something else using else if. We can check more than one thing. If variable age is less than zero, we'll print something else. We'll print you haven't been born yet. I'll set age to be negative one. We end up printing you haven't been born yet. This condition was false. We skip over it and go to the next condition. Well, this one turned out to be true. So we do this and skip over the rest. Now you can add as many else if statements as you would like. Let's check else if variable age is equal to zero exactly. Double equals is the comparison operator. We're checking if two values are equal. If you were to use one equals, C thinks you're trying to assign age to be zero. That's the assignment operator. For a direct comparison, use two equals. If variable age is equal to zero. If that's the case, we'll print something else. You are a newborn. I'll set age to be zero. You are a newborn. That's because our variable of age is equal exactly to zero. Now pay attention to this. Let's add another else if statement. Else if variable age is greater than or equal to 65. If that's true, we'll print the following. You are a senior. I'll set age to be 70. So this should be true technically. You would think that we would print you are a senior, but here's what actually happens. You are an adult. We ended up printing this statement rather than this one. Well, that's because this condition is technically true. We read these conditions from the top down. If age is 70, technically 70 is greater than or equal to 18. We would execute this code and skip over the rest. You do have to pay attention to the order of your conditions. In this example, we may want to move this statement first. So let's switch these around. Let's change this to an if statement, and then using else if, we'll check if age is greater than or equal to 18. If age is 70, then we should print, you are a senior. If it were 50, well, technically this condition is false. We end up printing, you are an adult. The order of your conditions does matter. Let's take this a step further. We'll accept user input this time. 
I'll set age to be zero. We'll create a prompt. Using printf, we'll print enter your age. We need scanf to accept an integer. The format specifier is percent %d at the address of age, insert a value. All right, now we should be able to enter in an age. I'll set my age to be negative one. You haven't been born yet. Let's test it again. What if I was zero? You are a newborn. Maybe I'm 13. You are a child. Perhaps I'm 25. You are an adult. And what if I was 99? You are a senior. By using if statements, they allow for basic decision making. Let's go over another example. In this next example, we'll be working with booleans. We'll need to include the boolean header file, std bool.h. A boolean is either true or false. Let's create a boolean variable of is student. If we're a student, this could be true. If we're not, this could be false. Let's set that to be true initially. Using an if statement, we can check a boolean value. If is student is equal to true, then we can print using printf, you are a student. Else we'll print, you are not a student. Okay, is student is set to true. We execute the if statement. You are a student. If this were false, then we print, you are not a student. Now, when examining Boolean variables, you don't necessarily need is equal to true. You can just check the variable itself because it's already true or false. If is student, if that's true, do this. So this should work too. You are a student. If is student, if this were false, well then, you are not a student. Using if statements with Boolean variables is really simple. If this Boolean variable contains true, do this. Else, do something else. We'll need the help of the following header file, string.h. Let's say we have an array of characters named name. I'll set this to be 50, 50 characters long and I'll initialize it to be an empty string. What if we want somebody to type in their name and they don't type in anything? Well, using an if statement, we can check that. First, we'll need a prompt. Enter your name. Using fgets, we'll accept a line of text, including any white spaces. We need the name of our variable, followed by the size of our variable, in this case 50, but it would be better to use size of to calculate it in case it changes. Size of name, and then standard input. We can check if a string is empty. Here's how. With our if statement, with the condition, we'll use the following function. strlen, meaning string length. If the length of our string, name, is directly equal to zero. That means a user didn't type in their name. If that's the case, we'll print, you did not enter your name. Else, if the length of our name is not zero, that means they type something in. We'll print, hello, insert a string, then display our name variable. Okay, let's see how this works. Enter your name, I'm just going to hit enter. Oh, and then we have to remove the new line character at the end. Take our name, 
get the length of our name, string length, minus 1 to go to the end, set that last character equal to a null terminator, forward slash 0. We're doing this because the new line character does count as a letter or a character, so that would technically be 1. Okay, let's try it now. Enter your name. I'm just going to hit enter. You did not enter your name. Let's try it again. Type in your full name. Hello, whatever your name is. In my case, bro code. All right, everybody. So those are if statements. Basically speaking, if some condition is true, you do something. If it isn't true, you can do something else entirely. It allows for basic decision making. And well, everybody, those are if statements in C.